So guys, this is a message to you from me. This is actually after the end of this video. I filmed this as the last part, but it's going to be the first part in the video. Because, you know, that's how it works for me. Anyways, I just wanted to give a little thing, um, brief disclaimer, I guess. Um, uh, no offense to anyone who is part of the video or making it. I'm not sure why I'd say that, because I don't say anything offensive towards them. And I also, I don't own the material. I was an actor in said movie, but I don't own the rights to it or anything like that. So, um, any videos I showed... They could get copyrighted, I, mean, I guess. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I just figured I should probably say that so I don't think I'm trying to steal content. I'm not. I'm just trying to um, do a quick video talking about said content and um, explain my involvement with it just because it's kind of an interesting piece. So, yeah, there's that. And that's about all. Um, also, so well, I guess it's not all. Sorry about the weird quality, if it should be pretty weird, and my stuttering and stuff. It's not very rehearsed script at all this time. Kind of free this to get your last minute, because I thought it would be kind of interesting and fun to do. And, um, also, if, like, there's anything copywritten, it, I will take it down or whatever. You can just tell me or something. That's fine. If you have any questions and stuff, tell me in the comments. But I think I'm taking a while here, so without further ado, let's get on to the video. Um, see you as soon as the video starts. So, like, in two seconds, I guess. I don't know. Let's start it now. Hey, guys. Um, welcome to a brand new video again. Like every video, every video is brand new, unless you're watching this like a while after it comes out. Then it's an old video. Anyways, I don't know why I said that at all. Probably because I, I don't know, because it was an intro. And all my intros made a rest in peace because I think I killed the intros. They're just not, they're not good enough. I murdered them all. But anyways, today here's something new. You're looking at a different part of my desktop. That's not really relevant at all. No, I pointed that out. The topic at hand, or topic for a video, or whatever you want to say, is that I was in a movie. Um, yeah, not sure why I'm bringing this up now. But anyways, a couple years ago, I think 2014 now, so two years ago, I guess. But yeah, anyways, two years ago now, from now, um, I was actually in a small production movie. Um, Mr. Ghost River, as you can see right here. Anyways, well, um, it's kind of me, but anyways, um, was it a good movie, may I ask? Um, short answer, it's not very good. Ugh, I can't say I, I don't want to say me. I actually really liked being in the movie. I don't know, it was a lot of fun, it was a good experience, I guess. And for that reason, I have nothing against the movie, but... This topic has recently come up, not so much on YouTube, but it's come up more around my class and stuff. People are talking to me about it and taking note of it, and I figured I should make a video of it because it's kind of an interesting thing. So, anyways, let's get started. First off, here's the cover of the movie. I know, it's like... A little blurry, probably. I actually, I actually don't know. Anyways, it's a small picture. It's one of the only pictures I can find, and it's kind of blown up right here. I just zoomed in on it. That's all I did. So actually, it's just recording a very small section of the screen from the picture you saw earlier. Sorry about the blurriness, but as you can see, it is. It's a movie. It's a oh, DVD with um, yeah, that's covering stuff. It's by um person's name who you can't read, and if my mouse pointer looks giant, I have no idea how this works because I'm zooming in pretty far, but if my mouse pointer looks giant and is also a really weird shape, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it looks like that, but anyways, if it's bigger in normal, it's because it's zoomed in, but anyways, it's by Sterling Productions, it's a Canadian company because I'm Canadian, Sprite, get to drink maple syrup and eat the back bacons, and we ride our polar bears to our igloos after school every day, it's pretty cool. I'm only kidding about two of those things, but not not the polar bear part. The polar bear part happens. It, we get dog sleds to school, giant school bus sized ones, and then we all ride our polar bears back home at the end of the day. Cause the, the, the dogs get tired, you know. Then you stop at the school overnight, and then 
they're ready to pick you up in the morning. But anyways, guys, so I am going to continue with the actual video and not Canadian trivial stuff that everybody should know. But most people probably don't, and that is surprising. This is an issue that I will maybe discuss at a later point. Probably not. So, anyways, um, I played a character in this movie called Scott. He doesn't really come across at all. But, um, I'm going to show you a trailer after this and hopefully not get a copyright finger for it. Maybe I won't. I'll try and put something in the description or whatever. The movie gets taken down. I am very sorry. Um, but yeah. Anyways, it was a fun experience. And I'll show you a trailer and try to explain what the movie's about right after that. So... So, anyways, guys, I finally found the trailer. It took me a while. Everything was glitching out, but you guys don't know that because it just cuts here. So, I don't actually need to tell you. So, um, yeah, it only took me a couple seconds, guys. And, anyways, so I'm very sorry if it's a bit loud and stuff because, I don't know, I, I, there's still some bugs with the microphone I currently use and stuff. Maybe I'll get better equipment in the future. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to show you a trailer. And by the way, it's by Sterling Productions, the guy who made a movie. His channel is Sterling Canada. I think he has another one called Sterling Canada 2. And you can just find the trailer like on his channel. There's probably some other movies on it. He makes lots of movies. And he um, tries to help people like start off in acting, which is pretty cool, I guess. But anyways, um... But for her to do, let's go. It's only a minute or so long. Once in these very woods. Hey, what happened to all the crickets? Shh, I said. The ghost is here. The zombies are here. There lived a brave Indian warrior. I think my time has come. His tribe had a long drawn out war with the tribe upstream. Anybody know another word for waterway? Canal. Not too many letters. One day, he was on his way back from a brutal battle where many braves died. <laughs> he never made it back to his village. He just disappeared, never to be seen again. Be lucky they don't kill themselves, let alone look after somebody else for their safety. I'm out in the wilderness looking for you. Fine, if you're gonna keep twisting my arrow about it, I'll go back and take a look. If I die, it's kind of your fault. So anyways, guys, and that's the chiller, I guess. I'll just pause right here. And sorry if that was loud. Some parts are probably louder than others. I don't know. The camcorder, as I just said, is a little weird. But anyways, in case you didn't notice, I didn't really show up in the trailer. And that's because I didn't show up much in the film somehow. I was in a lot of scenes while recording and stuff. And I did spend, like, I was there pretty much every day. I only missed one day of recording. But it's all cool. I'm actually right there, the guy in the hat that my mouse is pointing at. So yeah, I got some screen time in the trailer. But, um, anyways, yeah, Chiller actually makes the movie look really good. Or not super, super good, but it makes it look definitely pretty good. Good enough to watch. I totally watched it right after that. And I got myself a copy because I was in it. So I got a copy for free. But anyone else who wants to get it, get it. If you want your own copy, you need to go on his website, and I think they're $25 each, which is relatively expensive, but he makes movies like this all the time, and that costs quite a bit of money, I guess. So, he uses most of, pretty much all the money he gets to, and puts it into the, um, his future films and stuff. He is, um, he's strictly based in Canada, that's where he has his movies around the area I live in. I... Not sure if I want to give away my exact location or anything, just because internet. The internet said no to that, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, what I, you should have gone from the trailer was um, kind of a premise. So anyways, I'm not sure exactly how it goes. It's a little, It was a little bit confusing even there, to be honest. Maybe it's just because I'm not all that bright or something. But um, 
It is about 21 Boy Scouts, or just Scouts, who go on a camping trip. This is back in the 1980s. So it's just Boy Scouts. There aren't any Girl Scouts yet or whatever, or at least they're separated. If there are Girl Scouts, I don't know enough about Scout history, nor should I. And anyways, they are on a long, I think it's a 21-day canoe trip, too. So they're on a 21-day canoe slash camping trip, and there's also 21 kids. I don't know if there's some numerical symbolism there, but there might be. And pretty much at, as they go from campground to campground, um, they find, well, as while they're camping, they find, um, like, zombies. Like, people are going missing, and they figure out that zombies are attacking them, and they find, like, a ghost, I guess. They just kind of find it. It's kind of there. It's, it's not too hard to find. <laughs> and the ghost is turning people into zombies for, I don't know, whatever reason. And it's just about trying to get canoe from campsite to campsite to get to the final campsite and get to safety, pretty much, before the zombies kill everyone. Which I guess is a large possibility. So if you're interested in the movie, you can, I think you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. Last time I checked, the full movie's there. It's by, under the same channel as well. But who knows, it might get taken down. It might have already been taken down. I have no idea. Like I said earlier, you can also buy the movie online if you want to see it. I don't know. It depends on you, and I'm not sure, like, what type of movies you're into. And if you're into this type of movie, I guess I'd recommend it for you. But be warned, it is a privately developed movie, and it is child actors, so the budget is not necessarily the highest, and the actors are not necessarily the best. It's just to get them started off, so the quality of the movie might not be, like, an incredible, like, theatrical production. But I guess it's not bad, at, really. It's not bad at all. And... I actually had quite a bit of involvement in the movie. I'm actually on IMDb now, for whatever reason, just because of this, which is kind of cool. So, pretty much anyone can apply online on his website, ScrewingProductions.ca. It's actually right here on the video, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. And I actually even did, I believe, um, an interview for the movie and a lot of other stuff, too. So, I guess I'll show you that now. That was perfect in case you guys didn't notice. I cut right before the phone rang, or right as the phone rang, which is great. And now we're here with the update video with Liam Cobos. This is me from two years ago. I'm not a very good actor, and I used to be very shy while talking. That's kind of why I went into this, I guess. But um, anyways, he kind of did an interview with me about the movie, and was scripted and stuff. It's a little bit weird looking. Like, I don't know. It's kind of... I don't know how to describe it. I guess you should watch it and decide for yourself. Because I don't want to say anyone's opinion. I don't want to offend anyone that was involved in making it or whatever. And if there's noise upstairs, that's just other people. I'm very sorry about that. Because, like, there were quite a few people involved in this film. Lots of actors. Skrilling, of course. Like, I call him Skrilling. I think that's his name. It's Skrilling Johnson. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He was the director, I think. I think that's what it's called, honestly. I feel really stupid if I don't know the proper terminology. But he was the guy that made the film and all that. And yeah, there are lots of people. There are quite a few people involved. A good number. I just don't want to offend anyone. So I'm not going to... Or, I don't know. Not offend anyone. Because my opinion is not bad about it. But I don't want to escape my opinion about it for whatever reason. For no reason, really. I don't want to bring a bias or anything like that. So anyways, let's watch the video and you can decide for yourself what you think of it. Hi, I'm actor Liam Cobalt and this is a Mystery of Ghost River update video. I will be playing Scott in the film. Scott, like myself, has always been a scout. He started in beavers, worked his way up to cubs, and now he's officially a scout. Scouts teaches all kinds of good life-saving skills, but nothing prepares you for attacking zombies. One must improvise. Next on the list of important things to say, please swing by the website and buy something or make a donation, because rumor has it we're going over budget. What? Trying two actors are counting on you. Just saying. Well, bye for now. 
So, yeah, that was it. That was me. <laughs> believe it or not, it's not too hard to believe. Looked like me, sounded like me, just two years ago. And I think that's not, like my first YouTube appearance, probably. I don't know when my channel started, but it's probably around that time where that would have been probably like my first time on YouTube. Not that that matters too much, but yeah, that's the MRG update video. MGR, sorry, I don't know. I always say MRG, but that's another little thing run by Sterling King again. I guess he runs a lot of stuff. It's pretty cool of him. And, yeah, so I, as I said there, I was playing Scott in the film, and he said I had always been a scout. That was I supposed to say. It's not necessarily true. I have not always been a scout. I did two years of scouts, and I did do beavers, like you said, and cubs and all that. I was into that stuff because it was fun. That's why it makes sense, right? Yeah, it should make sense. There's no reason it doesn't make sense. So don't make fun of me in the comments. Nah, I don't, I don't care enough. Sorry, there's a fight upstairs. I broke my concentration. Whoever you are, I, I yelled upstairs to no one. But, anyways, yeah, the video was a little jumpy, and, well, that's nothing. That was intentional. That was, like, camera effect. And, anyways, I kind of stuttered a few times in case, like, you could kind of tell, probably. And, um, I slurred my speech a little bit. It was a little hard to understand what I was saying. I don't know if I'm still like that. I probably am. I was born with a slur. It's just my thing. Not my intentional thing, but it's still my thing. Having a story. But, yeah. So, that's why that... That's what's up with that. And I think I might have had that through a lot of movie. Maybe that's part of why I was cut out from a lot of scenes. I don't know. Maybe it was due to time constraints and stuff. But, as I was saying before, I did check, and yeah, the entire video, or whatever, like, the full-length movie, is totally, like, available online, right here. I just searched it. You can see that. The descriptions are a bit cut off, and you can see my subscription, or some of my subscriptions, for whatever reason, but that's okay. But yeah, the full movie's right here. It's rated G, in case that matters. I don't know if it does matter. It wasn't that scary or anything, so... Maybe it should be Ray Gloria in that. I don't know. But yeah, there are a lot of people involved. There's even like on the set videos and bootleg footage. I don't know. That's by Milo, by the way. He's right there, too. He was one of the other actors, like a Boy Scout. I think his name in the movie was Kelly. Yeah, that's definitely it. All right. And yeah, there were actually a lot of actors involved. It was really cool. I got to meet some cool people. Got to meet some people who weren't so cool. No offense to those people. That's why I'm not saying names. Except Kelly. Slash Milo. I said their name, but only because they're right there. Also, that kid's name was Todd in the movie, but I called him Toad. It was fun. Um, yeah. So anyways, guys, I don't know. I think... That might be all, but I'll go check if there's one more thing or so, and you can tell if there is more because of the time at the bottom. So yeah, um, there was one more thing, I guess, and that thing was to Google my name on YouTube and add Mystery of Ghost River to it and just see what comes up. So first thing that comes up is a Facebook page. I don't know if that's mine or not. I'm not going to bother clicking it. But my IMDB page comes up. My Google Plus page comes up. My biography comes up. Whoa. I need to read that right now. And wow. What an interesting biography it is. This is my entire mini bio, I guess. And yeah, it's pretty accurate. That's about all I've ever done ever. Um, William Cobalt is an actor known for Mystery of Ghost River. I'm known for it? That's great. I didn't even know I was known for it. I knew I was in it, but I didn't know I was known for it. <laughs> wow. This is great. It's on IMDb and everything. Yeah. International Movie Directors Bureau. Bu bureau? What, what? One of the above. I can edit or add my resume. Eh, I'm not going to do either of those. This is about as accurate as it gets. Let's see. Mr. Ghost River, let's cook it. Hey! It's a much better picture of the um, cover. There we go. There we go. Cover of the DVD. So if you wanted to see it in more detail, there it is. And apparently, it's a thriller. It's 110 minutes if you're into it. I don't know. And it got 4.9 4 out of 10, so not too bad, just a little under half, but it's alright. That, Anyways, only 12 people voted on it, so clearly not too many people know about it, or at least not too many people vote, or 
Honestly, I don't think it matters either way. Yep, and it's a Canadian film, which is cool. So here's the description. So it's 1983. A group of scouts are on a 21-day canoe trip in northern Ontario. They're haunted by a ghost ghost river. Will they solve the mystery of Ghost River before they're killed by zombies? Well, I would like to say right off the bat, you shouldn't be going to a place called Ghost River. That's like Scooby Dooish. It's just it's just a bad mistake. Just gonna say. Those those campers should have known what they were in for. Honestly, I don't doesn't matter. But anyways, here's some other movies from him, I guess. Summer Project and Crying Wolf. Crying Wolf looks kind of intense. Is that by him? No, it can't be by him. Summer Project, I know, is by him. I don't know about the rest. Yeah, probably, maybe, maybe not. There's some like other actors. There's a lot of people here. Lots of people without pictures, including myself. I have no picture. But it does mention that my name in the movie is Scott, so that's pretty cool. That's enough for me. And there's Milo again, I mentioned him. There's Nicholas, I don't know. I probably shouldn't be reading people's names. I have no need for this. Sorry, Nicholas and Milo. Very, very sorry. It's not my fault. I didn't mean to. But anyways, guys, that is like, um, the end of the video. That's what I was going to say, but then I kind of came back. But that is like, um, the end of the video. I just repeated that for no reason. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, stay awesome. Bye-bye.